Last Thursday in the New York Times, Joshua Berger reported on the rise of businesses here in downtown Jamaica because of this train line. It's here in New York and I'm here today at the air train. The air train has historical roots. The air train has historical roots going all the way back to the 70s when the train to the plane project brought passengers from northern Queens to midtown Manhattan and then express all the way down to Howard Beach. However, uh, for 20 years, the service has discontinued due to low ridership due in large part to the service not really going to the airport. Uh, from Howard Beach, you had to take a shuttle to get to the AFK. Enter the air train, which began construction along much of the Van Buren Expressway and around JFK, along with here inside Jamaica Station, made in 1998 and officially opened in late 2003. The $1.9 billion project, financed using both state and federal funds, is feared to be a boondoggle, especially in the wake of a death of the test train operator in September of 2002. But in the past past years, ridership has increased. More importantly, in the time between coming into Jamaica via air train and taking their next train out by the subway, the Long Island Railroad, the people are actually spending money. Chain stores are coming both on Jamaica Avenue and further along Archer. And in buildings such as the new rental apartments in the old Queens Family Court building behind me, people aren't just passing through, they're coming to stay.